we put a lot of sand, so we also have a place where we get creek sand. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so we you use a lot of sand in the mix. We use lots of sand. Okay. Lots of sand in the mix. Probably you sand. <laughs> um, maybe close to 50-50. Really? Yeah. Okay. So most it. of your potting soil is a is a sand quartz quartz based mineral. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't see any stem rot. Your plants are really healthy, mm -hmm. and I like it because you guys don't use any uh, synthetic fertilizers. You said you're just using manure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, chicken manure. Chicken and, manure. Uh, uh, organic chicken manure. Uh, sometimes we brew up a, a tea, a worm tea compost. Okay, so you do add some compost. Sometimes tea it's been a while. Um, and then I guess if you want to call the, the horse manure fertilizer, yeah, that's that's about it. Wow, that's awesome. I'm learning a lot because I've never seen growers use uh, horse manure like this. And again, I don't see a single one of your plants with stem rot. So you're definitely doing something right. I mean, you mm -hmm. got, obviously, um, but I think the sand is another really important. Sand, I think, is key to keep the drainage. Uh, I think we the first pots we were using, we were doing the, um, the frog, the happy frog up uh -huh, there. The fox farms. Fox farms. Um, I had a lot of problems with that, and it I it just didn't get enough drainage. I mean, the 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 the, the, the compost mm -hmm. and the stuff that's in it is good. It's just it's too wet. Yeah, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. I love fox farms as a top dressing. Please mm -hmm. don't think I hate fox farms, but I I put it on the top of the soil now. And this this is actually the uh, Hana that I got from you in uh, probably August of 2021. Oh yeah, you came by a couple. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this so, is the Hana. This is the Hana. So <laughs> this is a two year old Hana right here. Look at that. Okay, it's getting big. It's I getting big. I like this one a little bit less and less every year, but <laughs> it, it's a good one. I mean, it's better than most of the white flesh in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It does taste good and the flower is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I did see a flower. Yeah, flower we don't have pretty. we don't have much for white flesh, so we kind of trying to keep variety around here. Well, I'm glad that you have it and it's thriving it's, it's here. It's thriving, mm -hmm. yeah. So How often do you water? Uh, we pretty much don't water from November, December through March. Okay, so same as us, so yeah, once we, we kind of around Halloween or a little after. Yeah, because it does rain quite a bit, mm -hmm. so it'll get enough water. Uh, but as soon as it starts warming up, we start hitting them once a week, and then in the su hot summers, at least twice a week. And yeah. you were telling me earlier that you use uh, recycled water. You catch uh, rainwater. We catch as much rainwater as we can in the winter, uh, and we store it in our in our containers up there. I'm always curious to learn more about watering and fertigation. So Mateo, I see these giant barrels here. Tell us how you water your dragons. So uh, we collect pretty much all the rainwater um, from the house, uh, the rain gutters, and pump it into here. And that's over 2,000 gallons? This is, yeah, 2,150. Okay. Um, and then we have another 1,500 over there closer to the house. Um, that, that's where it goes first and then it gets pumped into here. Uh, this is another 500-gallon um, tank that we're going to we're gonna basically tap it into this and then we can make it one big barrel. So this, from this system, it all goes to your dragons. Yeah, so basically okay. we have each rose kind of, has, is on a- um, You have a valve for each Turn row? valve, okay. yep. And then we also have this one valve that, that goes down to another 500 gallon tank down at the bottom. So if we have any overflow, we can send it down there. Um, and that kind of just helps with the more capacity. And what, how much do you water like right this time of year, right now? Right now it's August, so we're trying to do at least at least uh, twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week. Okay. Um, and if we don't get out there, we try to hand water two gallons. Everything gets two gallons. Um, if we're not able to do it, that's when we turn on the uh, spigots here, and then just make sure they get get some water. So you're not a grower that cuts water to at the end when the fruit are ripening. Some people do that. I personally do not. No, we figure that you know the fruit needs water mm -hmm. so the more water it gets and you can tell um, if you don't water for a while and then you give them a bunch of water they will respond mm -hmm. as far as new growth and buds and stuff so yeah, yeah uh, Quang water. On recommended what he watered his every day during the growing season and a lot of people said he was crazy but if you have good drainage and you're using mm -hmm. sand you mm -hmm. can w water these dragons a lot when they're not dormant when they're actively growing yeah they'll take pretty much whatever you want so to you notice them. that too if you bump a lot of water to them they'll kick respond with yep. either growth or buds yep so if you have a plant that has a lot of new growth uh, do you tend to prune that off or do you just continue to water it or what do you do because uh, a we, lot of people we, ask that question. Okay, we, I got a plant like this. We pretty much let the plant do what it wants to do. Uh -huh. And then if there's any rot, we'll cut it out. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much hands off. You know, let the plant do what it wants to do and then just kind of make some minor adjustments. Mm -hmm. um, they seem to like it out here, so there's not much to it. So uh, yeah, that's kind of how we, we do as little as possible. 
you know, we don't even really pollinate anymore. Um, oh, so you're not out pollinating here? No, that's kind of why we, we have the, we, the dragon fruit everywhere, uh -huh. uh, the sugar dragon everywhere, so we don't have to pollinate.